Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we got a lot of jewelry to go through here, so I'm going to break it down into two separate videos, but uh, we'll get done what we can in this one. Before we get started, hit the little like, share, and subscribe, and that little notification bell so you don't miss any further videos. And uh, without further ado, let's get started here. So, uh, first off, we got these little gold tone butterfly studs. And then we got these little silver tone studs. And then we have these little heart gold tone studs. And then we have these little small hoops that are yellow. And then these little studs, a little woven design there. And then we got these, and these are quite gorgeous. I love these in this in this uh, rose gold plated style there. And then we have these. So also gold tone with like the red red plastic insert there. And then we've got these little. Uh, small gold tone hoops and then we have these silver tone small hoops and then these I'm going to sell as a lot together just a bunch of different colored small colored hoops and then we got these little gold tone heart ones And then these are really cute as well. Silver with the little blue. Um, I think that's an aquamarine. And then similar in gold tone this time with the little green peridot stone in the center there. Or faux peridot probably. And then these little gold tone ball studs. And then we have these little heart studs here as well. And then we have a couple that, um, a few that I got from this lady. Um, she's a Canadian lady who makes uh, jewelry, so it's creations by uh, Lara, Alana here and uh, Silver Girls, what she goes by. So she makes some really, really cute jewelry, so shout out to her. Keep doing what you do because you make some really nice jewelry. So then we've got uh, this that I also got from her. And this is also by the same lady. Again, she makes really nice stuff there. So if you see any of her stuff, uh, it's, wor it's worth checking out. And then I made this here little onyx beads around or uh, stones around it and silver tone chain and then there's this little dressy rhinestone bracelet and then I made this one here as well got a leaf pendant and then there's this uh, with the leather strap on there and some different uh, stones here you can see there's a few different types and this one here is a wood wood piece there so wide variety uh, dyed mother of pearl and then there's this there's one of those long strand necklaces as well the little glass beads And then there's this uh, faux pearl strand gold tone necklace. And then there's these hoop earrings. And this one's really cute too. It's just fine and uh, very dainty. It's a gold tone chain with a little 
silver tone beads on the end there. And then there's this little toe ring or kid's ring. Can you try there? And then these uh, glass faux pearl earrings. And then there's this little silver tone ring. Oh, and this is actually a mood ring. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And uh, then I made this one here. And then there's these little dangle earrings, similar to some of the other ones I've gotten, and I believe there's a white version of that that I'm waiting to see if I get a mate too. And then these very elegant earrings here as well. I actually love these earrings. I think they're they're uh, really elegant. And then there's these small little studs, with the little pink sapphire on the inside. And then we've got these hoop earrings here as well, the blue uh, cat's eye and the wood beads. And then there's these, which is a different type of um, pearl, I believe. Um, I'm not sure what they call that pearl, but uh, kind of cool. And then there's this pin maple leaf on it and the faux pearl and then there's uh, this necklace that I made as well with the stainless steel and um, plastic ring and then we have this one here the glass glass panel there and then the little shell and then we have these elegant earrings as well these are really really pretty and then there's these little stainless steel ones these guys, which I love these as well, they're very, very pretty. And then there's this one here, in a gold tone with a little heart, and the mother of pearl. And there is this one, and it has a little leaf pendant there. And I'm not sure what brand uses this little, um, is that a canary or a chickadee, something like that. I have to look that brand up. And then these are little leather earrings. And then there's these sparkly on the gold tone. And then there's this little stretch bracelet. The stretch was actually really, really good on this one. And then we have this one here that I also made. And then there's this one. It's a layered necklace with the faux pearls on it. I believe that was a loft. Is that loft? No, it's J. Crew. And then these little gold tone 
vintage tin earrings. And then we have these. The turquoise on them. And I made this one here as well. All kinds of different glass and um, yeah, just glass and the rhinestones on there as well. And this, uh, my wife tells me, is a scarf clip. I was struggling to try and figure out what that was. And then there is this with the little poinsettia on it. And then we have this, these check glass beads here as well. And this here is a clamp bracelet here. It has a few different shades of blue and um, the kind of darker shade of pink as well. So, I mean, yeah, it's very, very pretty. And I have a bunch of plastic rings here as well. So, the striped ones, and then this one with the flower design. And this one with just a little spot. And we have these little hoop earrings with the little uh, check glass beads on them. And there's these little hoop earrings, just something simple and plain. And then we have this bracelet here with the little glass beads on it. And there's this bracelet as well, which is very pretty as well. And then these. These here as well, with a little drop dangle. And the glass beads on them as well. And then we have this one. Again, glass beads. And then these little simple studs. I believe there's a blue version on as well, so if I find the mate to the blue one, then I'll be selling them as a pair, or as a set. Um, there's this one here with the little sparkles in it. Adjustable. And then there's this really long necklace here with the, the gold tone panels, as well as these uh, plastic purple Actually, those might be... Oh, those are glass. And then there's this ring here, which is very pretty as well. Those are very fancy rhinestones. Again, adjustable. I love these adjustable rings. Uh, and then we have these, and just a simple little stud with a little grey enamel on them. And here's another ring with the swallow on it. That's wire wrapped. And then there's these, the little daisy. And then these are some clip on earrings, the rhinestones. And here is. Some little heart-shaped earrings here as well, with a little glass beads underneath them. There's several versions of that one too. I'm waiting to find the mates on some of them. Um, and then I made these guys here. And that's a dark blue. It's hard to tell in the video here with the lighting, but it is a dark blue. And then there's these, and I potentially have a second pair of these as well. I'm just hoping to get the mate out of the box. I haven't quite finished going through the box yet. And then I made this one here. 
And these were actually a pair of earrings. The other earring was just um, very rusted out. And then there's these little ghost earrings. And then we have this bracelet, which is the heart one, the woven mesh, very pretty. And then I made this one here, which is a little heart with the little rhinestones and then a bronze stone tassel. And we have these. Little brushed silver. And then I've got this, and these have uh, Bible verses around them. And there's this long one here as well, and these uh, are wrapped glass beads, but uh, they almost remind me of the old fishing. Um, fishing net bobs that they have for, um, oh, what do they call them, little floats. And then there's these little bronze stone ones that I made. And these with the faux turquoise. And then there's these earrings here as well, with the little faux pearls. This one, I really love this uh, necklace. I think it's really, really pretty, and it's uh, vintage. It's got the old vintage clasp on it. Um, but just very elegant, very nicely done. Whoever, whoever came up with that design. And then we have this long wrap necklace as well with the blue and black plastic beads. And then these lattice work earrings in the gold tone. And I made this one here as well. And then I'll make a chain. And then there's this little chandeliered uh, floral earrings. If I can get one of them out, I will show you. We got one hook. So, sorry, they're not cooperating at all, but there we go. And then we have these little dangle earrings as well. I have seen that design before. Um, and then there's this one here as well. The speckled enamel. And then we have this ring here. Again, adjustable. And this was a very unique pin. It's a red dress with a heart on it. Normally I don't sell very much for the pins, I end up scrapping them usually, or, but, uh, you know, that one there I think is unique enough that I'll try selling it. And then here's a belly button ring. And then we have these, the silver panels, kind of that, um, almost made to look um, like that industrial steel. Okay, and then I made this one here. Those are glass beads there as well. And these are earrings. The rhinestones and that kind of, um, woven look to them as well and then these kind of just layered dangle earrings as well a lot of rhinestones around them 
And this is just a really, really long wrap necklace as well with the uh, green plastic beads or glass beads and then uh, the bronze tone connectors. And this here is one of those little collar necklaces I, or choker necklaces. I don't usually sell the cloth ones very much, but this batch had a ton of them and they were all brand new. So we'll end up selling some of these and some were leather, some were cloth. This here is one of those um, satin, satiny type here with the faux pearl on it. It's another one of the brand new ones. And then another one here with another faux pearl, just on a triangle. Same type of material. And then I put together this uh, bracelet here as well with a lava bead and wood. And these two pair here, I will end up selling probably together and just sell them as a pair, as a set. And then we have this infinity bracelet. These are gold tone studs, very large studs. And this is Paparazzi brand. Um, it does have the tag, but um, they look used, so I'm guessing someone just put it back on the tag. And then there's this um, is plastic. It's got really good stretch on it. Angel theme with Christmas coming. That's kind of perfect. And this is another really long wrap with the plastic beads on it. This one is unique as well. Some little baby's breath dried inside this little glass capsule. And then we have this one that I made. And this is another one, another bracelet with the uh, dyed mother of pearl on it and some glass beads. Another pair of earrings here as well. There was lots of earrings in this in this particular lot, so both videos will probably have a fair bit of earrings. And then we have this one that I made. When I say I made these, I use upcycled materials, so I just um, take old jewelry and I turn it into something new. And this here is an aluminum chain. this that I made as well. I don't usually use rope ones, but this was a brand new rope that was in there, so I decided I would utilize it. And then I made a pendant for it. And we have this one here that I also made. I really like a lot of these ethnic earrings when I'm making jewelry. I think they make beautiful pendants. And then there's these. And I made this one here as well with the wood beads. And this is another long necklace here as well. And I believe it's layered. Yeah. So this one is just a layered one here. You've got the two different, different layers. And this is by the Express brand upside down, if you get the picture, and then there's these vintage uh, gold leaf earrings here as well, and then another ring, this one's unique, it's got the, it's got a, a hand on it, and then I made this winter theme one, because winter's coming, so I needed something unique. And then we've got this necklace here as well with the little metal tassel. And then these are little glass beads as well on this, the check glass. And then there's these earrings as well. And then there's 
this little cross bracelet. And I made this one, and I have another version of this as well. Um, this one's on a narrow Omega chain. The other version of this is on a stainless steel chain. And I do have another one of these little panels. I just haven't decided what I'm going to put it on yet. But I do want to make it slightly different from the other ones. And then uh, we have this, another one that I made. And then there is this one here. And then these are just very simple earrings. And then I made this one. This one here on a chain as well. If I can get that off, but uh, has the has a cross on it. And uh, I did make this one as well. And then we have this necklace here that I made with little marcasite stones and uh, an obsidian stone down the bottom there. And then there's these little earrings as well and then we have this glass bead faux pearl and uh, this floral pattern pendant I should know what type of flower that is um, but I sadly it's escaping me and then I made this one here as well with the little key to my heart and the rhinestones and we have this layered one by New York & Co. The brushed gold and brushed silver. And then these are very unique earrings as well with the crown and the yellow hearts. And then there's these little earrings as well that are angels. Again, perfect for Christmas coming. And then... These are kind of that a southwestern style earring. And then we have these gold tone faux pearl earrings as well. So very elegant. And this with the turquoise stones on it and the rhinestone cross. And then there's this little bracelet here as well. Spider webs. This is a really, really long glass bead strand uh, necklace to wrap. And then I made this bracelet here as well. It has uh, all kinds of different uh, shoes and purses. Here's another one of those necklaces, very, very similar to the other one, just this one has the little pearl down here that hooks it in. And then there's this gold tone locket. And then this butterfly necklace. Flip it over to the front. See, it's got the two different rhinestones on there. And then we have these two earrings, or a pair of earrings, I should say. And then uh, this one here is very pretty as well. It's a very simple design. Um, that one was branded by Leah Sophia. Get my thumb out of there. And then these ribbons. And this thick wood bracelet here. And this heart pin. Embrace hope. And this necklace here as well. I'll do one more and then we'll end the video here. Got this uh, another big necklace here. 
And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will try and finish this lot off tomorrow um, in another video. And um, if you like what I do, then uh, feel free to follow the link down below to uh, send me PayPal or to uh, send me items for these videos. I don't mind doing that either. I love receiving items. And um, yeah, or even if you just want to send me a shoot me a message, just follow the link in the uh, description. Thanks for watching, guys.